Now I need to clean and grease everything that I need to clean and grease. So I can use a toothbrush and scrub these gears clean. And we've got needle bearings all over the place. They're everywhere. This big dude could definitely use a little bit of a scrubbing, I suppose. But don't grease the uh, clutch material. <laughs> Leave that alone. Oh, I clean it with isopropyl alcohol, but uh, yeah, don't don't grease that. Progress so far. I have used my little blue can three-in-one oil to clean out the dirty grease in these needle bearings. And let me tell you, dirty grease came out. There's that. This is for high-speed applications. Then I started, oh, of course, I cleaned all my gears up. guy over here got all the built-up goo off of the cogs she's looking a little better and I started greasing this part right here this is well the other side of it is the clutch material you have to wipe that off at some point in time so this started to change its characteristics as I added a bunch of that. So, let's see if I get this to focus. Come on, there you go. So, uh, unfortunately my heat just came on, so it's going to be a, a little hard for you to hear this, but... I'm shaking it. You'll see why in a second. Here, I'm going to move this over to the microphone. Here, I'm going to spin this. Yeah, so, just about completely quiet. Now, this is the greased one. I haven't touched this at all. Check this out. Hear that? Rattle. And, this is kind of just clacky as, you know, it spins. Hopefully you could hear that. So I put oh, uh, 15 or 20, I, I soaked it, like 15 or 20 drops of this stuff in here. And this, this needs to continuously spin. And it spins very, very freely, but it's not like loose and bouncing around inside its, its gear. It's a little plastic gear. It's, it's very nice. And here's this other smaller metal clutch type assembly. It's got some parts in it. This is after I soaked it with the three in one there. Totally smooth, no rattle. And here's one I haven't touched yet. Yeah, just rattles all over the place. And it's it's a little rough. <laughs> I don't want to hit the microphone with it. So I'm gonna oil these dudes up.
this on. Yes, that's on tight. Okay, so I'm not going to put this on right this very second because I may need to get back into this to make adjustments. I don't know yet, so I'm going to leave this off right this right this minute. Moment of truth. We end up the same spot we started from. Well, I think overall, maybe just a, a little bit better. It certainly didn't make anything any worse. The, the classic old Kirby transmission wine uh, has been improved a bit, but uh, I can't say it's like night and day, and it certainly hasn't completely eliminated it. So you'll have to figure out if going through all this mess is, is worth it for you. It probably will give you some type of improvement, but... Um, if it's, if it's enough, then uh, maybe you'll consider it worthwhile, and if it's not, then you go, eh, you know, I just won't bother with it. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. And now for the most frustrating part of this video series. Gotta take this thing back apart and put that little clip on.